Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Siri on your iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 14, 13, 12, or pretty much any iPhone that has the latest version of iOS. Let's get started. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Siri is your personal assistant and you'll see this little circle anytime Siri is activated and anything you ask or say to Siri will pop up in this little box. Now I'm gonna be showing you everything there is to learn and know about Siri and there are chapters in the description. So if you do wanna skip ahead, you can just click on them and it'll take you to exactly what you're looking to learn. For everybody else, we're gonna start off with the settings and how to set up Siri. And we're gonna start by opening up the settings. So with the settings application open, you want to scroll down the list here and tap on Siri and search. This is going to bring up all of the Siri and search settings. Now, depending on how you set up your iPhone, some of these may be the same or different, but if you haven't turned Siri on yet, what you're going to do is tap on this little switch here to ensure that you can turn on Siri. So for example, if we had these options off, we can tap right here, turn on Siri, tap enable Siri, and that's going to allow us to press the side button to activate Siri. Now when I say side button, it's the button on the right side of the iPhone. That's called the side button or the power button. And you're just going to press and hold on that. And you'll see that this little circle will appear and you'll be able to talk and ask Siri questions. Now in terms of what you can ask Siri, you're pretty much unlimited to what you can ask. It's all up to you, your imagination, anything you want, you can always test out. I'll be going through some of the commands that you can give Siri as well as some little tips and tricks you can use with Siri as well. But now that we've enabled Siri by pressing on the side button, automatically it says allow Siri when locked. So that means when the iPhone is locked, so if we're on our home screen, we've locked our phone, we can still press and hold that side button and it'll bring up Siri and we'll be able to perform various actions with Siri right from the lock screen as well. So that's something you have to decide if you want Siri to be enabled while you're in the lock screen. If you don't, you can tap the switch there turn off allow Siri when locked and it'll no longer be on. For me, I leave it on. It's going to prompt you to put in your passcode if you turn it on. So you can go ahead and do that and then you'll have allow Siri when locked turned back on. Now Siri comes in a wide variety of languages. Right now we're on English Canada, that's where I'm from, but you can see how many languages here that you can choose from where Siri will work within those areas. Now keep in mind, it may not work exactly the same with every language, but it is going to do its best. So select your language there and then go back. And one area here that is overlooked quite a bit is the Siri voice. And I have it set to American Voice 4, but you have all of these options here and a few more, which I'll show you a little bit later. But you can tap on them to see how it's going to sound. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Now you'll notice that some of the options that you choose will say downloading. That just means you haven't installed that voice or that sound yet. So it's going to download it for you and then you'll be able to use it. So go through them, choose the one you want. I'm going to set it back to the American and I'm going to go with the voice for like I had before. The Siri responses option here, we open that up, it's set to automatic and Siri will use on device intelligence to automatically determine when to speak. So you can choose to have it an automatic like I do or prefer spoken responses. And when you do this, this means that Siri is going to speak when possible, including when silent mode is on. So that way, even if your phone is silenced, you'll still hear Siri speaking. Otherwise, set it to automatic and it'll do its best to decide when it should speak or not. Always show Siri captions is basically whenever you do ask Siri a question, for example, what's the weather outside in New York City? You'll see whatever Siri says, it's going to pop up right here. It's currently clear and 16 degrees in New York City, also popped up on the weather app there. But if you don't want those captions to be there, you can turn them off and that way, whatever you ask Siri, she's just going to speak or show you what you're looking for without captions written on the screen. And then you can have always show speech here, which is gonna show a transcription of your speech on the screen. So this is what you're saying. So for example, again here, if I say, what is the weather in New York tomorrow? You can see it's typing that out for me. If you don't want that, you can turn that off. And when you ask Siri questions, what is the weather tomorrow in New York? You can see nothing pops up there. So it's your choice on those captions, turn them on or off, depending on what you like. 
Announce calls, this is great. I have this set to never. You can have this always on, only when your headphones are on in a car or only when your headphones are on. I like this feature. It's set to never just because this is a newer phone for me. So I haven't set it up yet, but I like to have it uh, when I have the headphones on. So this way it works with the headphones only and you can read what the options are for each one that you choose here. I'm gonna leave it on never for now just because I'm not 100% using this phone yet. Announce notifications, another one very similar. So if you want Siri to read out your notifications, you can turn this on. So I'll just read through this here that it says that Siri will avoid interrupting you and will listen after reading notifications so you can respond or take action without saying the Hey Siri command. And then Siri will announce notifications from new apps that send time sensitive notifications or direct messages. So you have that. Now, as soon as you turn this on, it'll give you some options here. When you have your headphones on, or if you turn this off, it's basically going to happen even if you don't have headphones. So I like to have the headphones on if I'm using these options. CarPlay options here as well, so you can choose from these. I'm gonna skip this because not all of us have CarPlay, but you can just read through those and go through it. Now below that we have reply without confirmation. So if you want to reply to a message, Siri's not gonna say, do you want me to send this message? You'll basically reply to your message and then it'll automatically send it as soon as you're done that message. If you turn that on and you can read here, what Apple says that does, but it's pretty much what it does. And then you can scroll down through all the apps you have on your phone, turn the ones you want on or off so that they work or don't work with the announce notification feature. It's a very good feature. It does save you a lot of time and it is very helpful. At least I found that to be the case with me. So again, because I'm not using this phone fully, I'm going to turn this off for now until I'm ready, but set it the way you like. The My Information section here is basically going to allow you to choose a contact with a name and information. That way Siri will reference that contact when speaking. So I have it set to Daniel. So the way this works is pretty simple. So I'll tap on it. It opens up your contact list here and you're going to choose a contact. Now I created a contact for myself with my information. So I just tapped on that and that's what pops up here. You can do that yourself. And what you would do is just find the contacts app so just search contacts. It'll open up your contact list. You can tap add up here and then create your own contact with your own information that Siri can then reference. And now your information is set with Siri as well. So keep that in mind if you plan to use that my information section. Moving down, we have Siri and dictation history. This is a good thing to do. So if you use your dictation with Siri, which I'll show you in a little bit, or you use Siri at all, you can tap on this and delete all of the information that it's saved. I kind of don't like the fact that Apple does this where they actually have this information and history somewhere logged, but you can delete Siri and dictation history just like that. Tap and delete. So I would say, Try to do that every once in a while, just for your own personal peace of mind. Moving down, we have a couple of options, not too big of a deal. They're just toggles to turn on and off. So to show suggestions, show recents, and these are going to be before searching, content from Apple, show in the lookup, show in the spotlight. And that's things like when you pull down from the middle here or tap on search, this is your spotlight. So when you do type something in, anything you might type like iPhone, what's going to pop up in what order and things like that. So you can kind of play with these options and see what you like best. Moving down, we have our suggestions from Apple. It says right here what it does. Apple can make suggestions in apps on home screen and lock screen or when sharing, searching or using lookup and keyboard. So you can enable or disable the ones you don't want. I kind of just leave everything as is. Now, when we move down here, it's going to pull up all of the apps you have on your phone. So you can tap on each app. So for example, let's just go to the app store and then you can see what it has to do with Siri. So you're allowing Siri to learn from how you use the app store to make suggestions across apps. If you don't want that, turn that off. While searching, if you want this app to be there, if you don't want this app ever to show up in your searches. So for example, here, if I turn this off and now we pull down here or tap search and I say app store, you'll see I, my app store does not pop up. Totally up to you how you wanna have this and that's gonna work with all of this. Same with your suggestions. You can play around with each one and that way it's custom to you and you do this for all of these apps. Now moving all the way back to the top here is the listen for Hey Siri. This is a command that allows you to go totally hands-free with your iPhone and all of your devices, whether it's an Apple Watch, if you have AirPods in your ears, you don't have to press and hold on that side button to activate Siri, you can just say, hey Siri. So to set this up, you're going to tap on this switch 
and it's going to go through a complete setup here. Now, what you're going to do is tap continue and then go through. You're going to have to say, hey, Siri, what's the weather and things like that. And that way it can track your voice and set it up. So we'll tap continue and we'll go through this. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri, send a message. Hey, Siri, how's the weather today? Hey, Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey, Siri, play some music. So that is it. The command is set. This is what the command is right now. It may change. I hear rumors that Apple is trying to change it to just Siri. So you don't have to even say the hey part. But for now, this is what it is. And that's how you set it up. When you tap done, you'll see it's enabled right there. And you no longer have to press and hold on the button. You just say that hey Siri command and you'll see Siri activates down there and ask Siri whatever question or joke or anything you'd like or perform any action. So that's how you set up Siri settings. There are a few more things to keep in mind here. And for this, we're gonna go back into the settings app and we're gonna to go to the accessibility section now, right here. And we're gonna scroll down to the spoken content section here. Now I have these set up in this way here. So I have this first one speak selection on. By default, it's off. I'm gonna turn this on and what it does is allow you to highlight text and have Siri read it to you. So if you don't like reading, you'd rather listen, Siri can do that for you. So for example, let's just open up a web browser here and we're on the Apple page here. So let's look at this new iPad and we'll scroll down to where we see some text here. So let's say we wanted to read this text. We didn't wanna read it, we just have Siri do it. Because I have that set up here, I'm gonna highlight all the text like this. I get my little options here. I'm gonna tap that little arrow and you can see it says speak. If I tap speak. The all new iPad is colorfully reimagined to be more capable, more intuitive, and even more fun. With a new And now Siri is actually reading that to me. I can tap here, go back, pause the reading, but Siri is actually going to be able to read the text on your screen there. So you can set that up here. You can also set up speak screen, which is going to allow you to perform a two finger swipe to read the whole screen. I choose the selection. It's a little bit more controllable and you won't accidentally do it. You can have highlighted content. That way, anytime you highlight the content, it's spoken and you can turn that on right there. And then going down a little more here, we have voices. Now this is where you can take those voices I showed you earlier and take it to a completely different level. There's a lot more options down here that you can choose from. For example, if we go to English here, there's all of these names that you can choose from of all these people in different types of English. US English has a ton of them here, male and female types of voices. You can choose from novelty voices here, which are pretty funny. So for example, this one, if we just listen to it. I'm pulling the wall over my eyes. Actually, that was pretty eerie. So I don't know about that one. Let's check this guy here. See, so you get some pretty cool novelty voices and I haven't seen a lot of people talk about these. It's an overlooked option, but it is there. You can choose from all of these voices and play around with them and you'll have a very customized Siri for what you want to use. Moving down again is the speaking rate. So when you turn on any of these speak options here, you can have it speak faster. Selection, read, selected, content. Speak selection, read, selected, content. Or slower. Speak selection, read, selected. Or just put it back to where it's normally set. That's where I leave it. And if you find that Siri is not pronouncing certain words correctly, you can tap on pronunciation here, tap add, and then you can choose the phrase. You're going to type in the phrase and then you're going to substitute it here. So let's just say she wasn't saying fantastic correctly. Okay, we've typed it up there. Type play. Fantastic. We tap here. Fantastic. Okay, and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of options here that you can tap. Here fantastic. Here fantastic. Here fantastic. Fantastic. And you can choose the one that's best. If there is a word like that, you're gonna tap done. And that's now going to be the substitution. And if you have to delete it, just go back, swipe left and tap delete. And now it's back to normal. So those are some of the spoken content options you have with Siri as well. And now let's get into what you can ask Siri. So first off, Siri is very open, very intuitive. You can ask anything to say, set a reminder for Thursday at 12 o'clock that I have an appointment. 
set a calendar event on so-and-so day and time, create a note, put your grocery list together, set a timer, open a certain app. You can say anything you want to Siri and she'll attempt to do it. And if she can't, she'll let you know that she doesn't know. But some more intuitive things that Siri can do, for example, if you're traveling, you can actually have Siri translate. So for example, if I'm just translating English to say French, hey Siri, translate the sentence, hey, how are you from English to French? And you'll see Siri automatically will put out a translation. It'll say the translation and you can read it on screen. You can ask Siri to send messages. For example, hey Siri, send Ida Mobile a message. Hey, when will you be here tomorrow? So Ida, hey, when will you be here tomorrow? Send it. Send. And now the message is sent. If you're into sports, you can have Siri give you the sports update. So for example, hey Siri, what was the score in the Leaf game yesterday? The Maple and it'll say and show you the score on screen right there. And there's also some really funny things you can ask Siri. So for example, hey Siri, tell me a bedtime story. Once there was a girl who never wanted to go to sleep. Every night after bedtime, the girl wished on a star that she could stay up. Anyway, so that's a really long story. We're not going to read the whole thing. You can also say funny things like, hey, Siri, tell me a joke. Ghosts are terrible liars. You can see right through them. And there's so much. I actually put together a 60 funny things you can ask Siri if you want to check that out. And it's a really fun video if you want to kill some time and have fun with Siri. Now you can also use Siri as a dictation sort of software. So if we open up a note app here, we can then dictate what we're saying right here with this little icon. You can just tap here. Hey everyone, welcome to my video on how to use Siri. If you enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box so you'll be notified when I post new videos. You can see everything I say here is being transcribed live. To stop it, you just tap back on this little option here, and everything you said here is pretty much in order. You can actually say period when you end a sentence or comma when you a comma is applied while you're speaking if you find that the punctuation isn't to where you want it but that's how you transcribe with a note and that way you can get your thoughts out a lot quicker than typing them here you can have siri check for your flight status check certain facts where you can use apple pay create a password identify a song so if there's music playing in another area you can actually have siri just say, hey Siri, what song is that? And she'll search for that song and then it'll pop up here where you can open it up or check it out. It's very, very intuitive and there's so much that you can do with it. But this is a great start. So if you've watched all the way to this point in the video, then you've definitely got something out of this. And I invite you to check out the rest of my tutorials on the iPhone 14, 13, 12, and all the iPhones. There's a playlist in the description to some great tutorials like this one here to help you get the most out of your iPhone. So definitely check that out if you're looking to learn more. And if this video was helpful for you, hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos and I know you liked the video. If you run into any trouble or have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I do my best to respond to every comment that comes my way and I'm happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.